At the beginning of 2022, a huge sea dragon was found in Britain. That's what the terrifying ichthyosaurus is sometimes called. This beast lived in the waters of the Jurassic era 180 million years ago. It could easily swallow a human. This carnivorous marine reptile unearthed in Britain reached up to 10 meters in length. This is one of the most giant and complete skeletons of ichthyosaurus in the history of paleontology. Broadly speaking, 2021 was quite full of surprising discoveries that let scientists see dinosaurs in a new light. In this video, you'll find out what kind of weapon did the ancient reptiles have? Why is the famous T-Rex not just one but several predators at the same time? Who was an even bigger and scarier creature? What discoveries made in the past year shocked scientists? Paleontologists have spent a lot of time disputing about the physical features of dinosaurs, as today we can see just their skeletons and can only guess what their skin color or texture was. But sometimes the distinctive feature is so evident that even the bones are enough to see it. Ankylosaurus is an armored herbivorous reptile that lived in North America 70 million years ago. It had a massive club-like tail and so was able to throw a spectacular roundhouse kick to any predator's head. However, now it turns out that it also had another cold weapon. A similar reptile with nothing less than a real saw in its tail has recently been found in Chile. Besides, this South American relative of Ankylosaurus possessed lighter armor, which means that it was more agile and could brandish its weapon as Leatherface did in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Now, paleontologists want to know what other kinds of murderous tales Ankylosaurus could possibly have in store. Can it be that these reptiles were fighting with giant bone swords? The following finding has stunned scholars, not because of its combat power, but its style. This dinosaur from Brazil was the size of a chicken. It was covered with small feathers and… Jesus Christ, why are there chopsticks sticking out of its shoulders? That's perhaps what paleontologists thought when they x-rayed the fossils and saw four weird pipes, each 15 centimeters long. But then the scientists remembered that right now, there's a similar bird existing on Earth, and it's called a peacock. Apparently, this dinosaur had something like a peacock tail growing around its neck. And naturally, for any fashion icon, this heartbreaker got caught up in a scandal. Currently, Brazilian scientists demand the return of this skeleton from Germany back to its homeland. They claim that Europeans took the remains illegally. But at present, Germans are reluctant to say goodbye to this stylish dinosaur. And that's a shame since it could fit the crowd at the Rio Carnival so well. But all kidding aside, let's pose a genuinely serious scientific question. What kind of asses did dinosaurs have? In 2021, an international team of scientists reconstructed a Cetacosaurus' cloaca in 3D. It came out that this creature's private part had clearly defined contours and glands that secreted pheromones. One of the researchers even noted that the shape of the cloaca reminded her of a smiley. Nature got it all covered. The males had absolutely no chance to miss while breeding. That's significant research as we know so little about how dinosaurs lived and behaved. What extraordinary things about the ancient reptile's lifestyle did scientists figure out? Our documentaries dedicated to dinosaurs always show the same scenes. Herbivores peacefully nibble tropical leaves while carnivores roam the savannas and jungles. That's because paleontologists like to think that dinosaurs live primarily in warm places since cold-blooded animals need external heat not to freeze to death. As for fossilized dinosaur bones found in Alaska, scientists believe that those remains had ended up there due to migration, as if the reptiles would come to those lands in summer and would leave in winter. But now there are these babies, and it seems they'll dispel this myth. 
I mean the baby dinosaur bones that have recently been unearthed in the American Arctic. It turns out that small reptiles would not just go on a short vacation to the tundra, but also breed there. There are two possible explanations. Either the climate of the region wasn't so cold, or dinosaurs could somehow maintain their body temperature. Who knows, maybe back then a typical Alaskan scenery looked something like this. Or maybe dinosaurs helped each other. Just like 80 species belonging to one herd found last year in Argentina's southern Patagonia. Mosaurus lived 200 million years ago and already had what you can find in any modern school peer groups. Judging by how the bones were lying in the ground, juveniles and young adults spent time with their own kind. And I'm sure there were ancient nerds and bullies as well. But all of them teamed up in the face of the most terrible threat, a super predator that terrorized entire continents. What curious things about T-Rexes have we recently found out? Multiple studies published in 2021 confirmed that this predator received its title of the king for a good reason. Just imagine, Tyrannosaurus managed to rule several kingdoms simultaneously. Two-year-old babies grew just a bit more than two meters long and hunted the smallest prey. Fourteen-year-old teens were three times larger and fed on medium-sized animals. But then an amazing growth spurt followed, and by the age of 18, they became twice as big and could attack enormous herbivorous dinosaurs. But why did the sizes of tyrannosaurs change so drastically throughout their lives? Modern predators don't grow so much. It's as if today's lions were born kittens. Scientists realized that at different stages of its life, the T-Rex replaced three different species that fed on different prey. This means that a Tyrannosaurus is not just one, but three predators in one body. However, the king wasn't crowned overnight. In the 80s, a small jawbone fragment of a carnivorous reptile was found in Uzbekistan. But its actual size has been finally estimated just lately. It turned out that for tens of millions of years, mighty Tyrannosaurus lived in the shadow of Ulubegsaurus, which was nearly twice as big. No wonder that T-Rex eventually forced this super predator out and outdid it in everything. And what's with this name, Ulubegsaurus? A good PR manager is a must, even if you belong to the elite. And what about the update on the greatest dinosaurs? One of them is a prime example of what happens if you hire amateurs to create your public image. In 2020, scientists described a tiny flying dinosaur. This frightening hummingbird had sharp teeth and a body that was just several inches long. Scholars claimed they had found the smallest dinosaur ever. But then fellow scientists double-checked this information and concluded that the smallest dinosaur ever was, in fact, a regular lizard. And these are two very different things, as lizards are close relatives of snakes, but not dinosaurs. Now, look at this fossil found in Mongolia. Scientists have determined that it was an unusual hybrid creature related to two modern birds at once. Shuvuya resembles an owl and moves like a turkey. And it's perhaps the strangest of small dinosaurs. Look at these claw-like forelimbs. Scientists studied a Shuvuya skull and concluded that these predators made great night hunters thanks to their big eyes and perfect hearing. It's estimated that they could hear their prey even better than owls. They hunted small mammals, ancestors of most modern animals. Actually, even today, meeting this little dinosaur in the woods at night would be quite a terrifying experience. But the most intimidating dinosaur feature is, above all, their enormous size. And there's a chance we'll have a new record breaker in this department. At the moment, Argentinosaurus is considered the most giant ancient reptile. This herbivore was up to 40 meters in length and 12 meters in height. That made it three times larger than even the biggest of Tyrannosauruses. 
But in 2021, paleontologists analyzed partial skeletons of another dinosaur species that also lived in Argentina. And then it became clear that this giant could be even more massive than Argentinosaurus. Checkmate. If this proves to be true, we'll have a unique opportunity to invent a name for the new largest reptile of all time. And before scientists come up with something corny like Tyrannosaurus or Argentinosaurus, let's make our suggestions as quick as possible. What if we draw an analogy and name the ancient titan Jupiterosaurus after the most giant planet of our solar system? Drop a comment and let us know what you think.